Hello. Autocomplete is a feature in Outlook that automatically suggests names and email addresses as a shortcut when you're sending an email. For example, when I type the letters FR in the TO line, Outlook begins to suggest names and addresses with those initial letters of people who I've exchanged email with before, and I can click them to save having to type the whole address. Outlook learns these entries as you send or receive mail, so that it can be smarter about the autocomplete suggestions that it displays. In previous versions of Outlook, this information was stored in a file with an NK2 extension, and it was possible to move that file from computer to computer to maintain your autocomplete entries. However, in Outlook 2010, the autocomplete entries are stored in the Outlook PST file. If you upgrade to Office 2010 from an older version of Office, any NK2 files are imported as part of the upgrade process. However, this automatic import only happens when Office is upgraded. If you later want to take an NK2 file from another computer or user account, you have to manually import it into Outlook 2010 before it's used. In this video, I'm going to show you how. I'll start by finding the NK2 file on my first computer, which is still running Office 2007. The file is located in a hidden folder in my user profile. I can get there by opening the Start menu and then typing this folder path. There's the Microsoft backslash Outlook folder, and when I open it, I can see the NK2 file that I need to copy onto my other computer. Now let's move over to my other computer, which is the one with Office 2010 installed. I've gone ahead and copied the NK2 file to my Office 2010 computer's desktop. For the import to work, I need to put the file into the correct folder, and also to rename the file to match the name of my Outlook mail profile. I can find the name of my current profile by opening the control panel and then opening the mail window. I'll do this by typing mail in the search box on the top right. Now that I've opened the mail window, I'll click the show profiles button. As you can see, I only have one profile and I'll take a note of the name. That's the name that I'll need to use for the NK2 file. If you've got more than one profile, you should take a note of the name of the profile that you want to import the autocomplete data for. The default profile name is Outlook, and that's what it'll be for most of you. What I need to do now is move the Outlook.nk2 file from my desktop to the correct location. That's the same location as it was in before on my other computer, so again I'll open the Start menu and type the same folder path. OK, so there's the Microsoft backslash Outlook folder, so now I'll move the NK2 file from my desktop into that folder. Now that I have the file in the same location it was in on my other computer, I need to rename it so that it matches my profile name. In this case, I need to change the file name from Outlook.nk2 to Harry.nk2. Of course, if your profile name is still just Outlook, the file name's already what you need it to be, and you don't need to rename the file. So now I'm ready to perform the import. To do that, I'll just open the Start menu, then I'll type Outlook space forward slash import NK2, and then press Enter. Outlook now opens. There isn't any visual indication that an import took place, but if I open a new email message and type in the To field, you can see that additional autocomplete suggestions are now appearing because of the new information that was imported. This video has been about importing autocomplete entries into Outlook 2010. I hope you find it useful.